A lot of people think you need to have it all figured out before you take a step towards the thing that you are passionate about, but that's not really true. My name is Rohit. I'm a motorcyclist by profession. Last year, Rohit was traveling through Europe on his motorcycle, where he started noticing a very prominent caravan culture around him. And seeing these caravans gave him inspiration and motivation to begin his caravan chronicles. Rohit and his friend Ankita decided to go together on this caravan expedition. The van was named Kiro, which is Japanese for crossroads. Kiro is where one is. Kiro is home. Kiro is family. As a food habit, it usually takes me a little while to get used to where I am and what I'm doing. With Kiro, the thing was that home was just where you park it. We used to park in places, and that was home for the next three, four days. When we first started building Kiro, we knew we didn't have much space, so we had to be practical about it. Every single element that has gone into making Kiro is us. We also had to get comfortable with the idea of living in that constrained space because that is not easy to do, especially when you're with another person. Rohit has been a really nice travel mate, and it's been super fun. People's reactions to Kiro have been very different. They just don't know how to react. Even cops had strange reactions to her, but invariably people had a big smile on their faces when they looked at her. When you embark on a hundred-day journey like this, there are only a finite number of things you can be prepared for, and when things go wrong, they go raw. One option is to drive back five kilometers and get it welded, but we don't have time for that. So the only fuck up is if you take it back to this guy, you have to wait for the van to cool down like completely. Kiro has been a total brat. He has given up on us multiple times. Thank you so Hello, much. Man. But when she rolls. She's an absolute joy. We live in a super interesting time where we actually live the life we want to live and still manage to make a living. Caravaning gives us the freedom to explore the way we want to, stop wherever we want, take our own time, and absorb the vibe of the place. All of us in life find ourselves bang in the middle of such crossroads. And in these times, it's just best to take it in your stride and let the road decide.